A quarter of Wisconsin teachers say they've been attacked or threatened by a student. Lawmakers have created a bill in hopes of protecting teachers. But as News 3's Rose Schmidt tells us, disability advocates say lawmakers are taking the wrong approach. It was an emotional hearing as lawmakers heard from members of the public about a bill that would more closely examine the relationship between schools and law enforcement. 11-year-old Caleb Adams had such a difficult time in school that his mom had to temporarily homeschool him. I couldn't really speak to people. I could not socialize very well. I didn't have many friends. Caleb is on the autism spectrum and has brain damage and anxiety. His mom frequently had to leave work to help mediate at his school, but she never thought it would come to this. I watched as this child was brought in handcuffs out to a squad car. As the adults talked about him like he was a thing and not a human being. Nicole Weigel was just one of more than a dozen people who came to the Capitol Thursday to testify against a bill lawmakers are calling the Teacher Protection Act. It would allow teachers to use reasonable and necessary force and remove a student from class for two consecutive days. Regardless of whether that student uh, has a disability or not, there needs to be action taken to protect that teacher. And they have to have the ability, if necessary, to be able to refer that to law enforcement. And then it's up to law enforcement whether or not they want to act on it. Police officers would be required to notify schools and teachers when their students are arrested in connection with a felony or violent misdemeanor. More than a dozen organizations have registered against the bill, fearing it will have traumatic effects on kids with disabilities and kids of color. Democratic committee members voiced their concerns as well. And we know students of color right here in Wisconsin are suspended at a greater rate. Uh, students who are suspended have a harder time achieving, and that then exacerbates the achievement gap. Representative Taylor suggested amending the bill so that kids with disabilities wouldn't be included, or providing more funding for special education programs instead. Ultimately, Caleb just says he wants to feel safe in his environment. If you work with your teacher and make a relationship, it won't be as bad because you'll be friends. The next step is the bill would have to be approved by the Judiciary Committee before it could move forward. In Madison, Rose Schmidt, WISC News 3. Currently, no lobbying organizations have registered in favor of the measure. The author, Representative Thiesfeld, says he'd be open to amending the bill so it could move forward.